Hi, I contracted out the boards for the power transfer controller for the solar bike. I actually went to the cheapest place I could find, which is this outfit in China called PCB Way. I have no idea what the quality is going to be like, but as a hobbyist, um, it'll probably be, be all right. I use very conservative design rules, and even if they're not perfect, that'll be fine. So I thought you might be interested in um, the unboxing. I just got this package yesterday. Haven't opened it yet. Came from, I got it from the cheap postage way, which is Hong Kong Post. I don't know if you can see that. Shipping was $24 as opposed to $32 for DHL. Um, it's got some sort of, I don't know what this is. It probably says USA or something. And it has a 0.9. I'm guessing that probably means 0.9 kilos, although it doesn't feel like two pounds to me. But anyway, okay. Let me open this up and let's see what we got. Looks like there was a green customs form on here too, um, which is entirely not filled out. And maybe it doesn't make a difference anyway. Okay, so what's inside? Looks like it was sandwiched between two um, one eighth inch pieces of closed cell foam. So that's good. There's a little bit of padding in there. The corrugated carton is some padding. And then there's another sheet of padding. No packing slip, no explanation. Um, okay, so here's the boards. Looks like they're shrink wrapped, heat sealed into, um, got bubble wrap on one side and it's otherwise sealed. They look pretty good. One, two, three, four, five boards. That's what I ordered. The whole order, including shipping, was, I believe, $116, something like that, for this board that's roughly about 8 inches by 9 inches. Okay. Supposed to be... 2 ounce copper. Anyway, so here's the board. And let's see, I'm going to try to put a dip in there. Yep, so, well, so at least it's reasonably accurate dimensionally. Yeah, big deal. A dip fit. I can do that with my just drawing with a sharpie pen. Um, let's see, we've got a, a thousand microfarad capacitor. Looks like that one. Yep, yeah, that that fits kind of good. Let's see if I have the. Um, Yeah, let's try this. Now, I'm not sure what this thing is. It's, I believe it's like a 60 microfarad little ceramic capacitor. And I'm not, yeah. Where can I stand to not put shadows on this? And I believe this capacitor is actually 1210. It's not 1206. Oh. By golly, maybe it is 1206. 
can sort of see the well the 12 part is right at least so it looks like that fits now looking around this board see if I can get it a little bit closer there um, this is the top side and that's a little prototype area doesn't really do anything it looks like the silk screen registration is not too bad but look at this I'm gonna flip the board over now check this out now to me these silk screen patterns are a little bit shifted to the left a little more to the left than I would like for my taste here's um let's see you can see right by the center of the screen you can sort of see the patterns are not exactly centered on the pads it's okay um the solder part of the pads are is still clear and thank goodness I used really conservative design rules the silk screen they said to use at least I think seven at least five mil no at least seven mil resolution for the silk screen so my line widths are actually I think seven no they wanted six they wanted six mil minimum and I used seven and it seems to be all right you can kind of make out the granularity in the silk screen but not uh, it's not horrible how about that completely readable this is um, I think it's 50 mil font so yeah perfectly readable on the other side you can see for the board legend it's going to read upside down because this that's just the way I can hold this thing um, you can see the board name is in copper and it's probably not focusing very well but uh, the board name is in copper and I can see a little bit of copper color peeking out from under the solder mask so it's not not the best solder mask but uh, appears to do the job I didn't notice any other deficiencies in the solder mask so it's okay as far as the holes um, the holes look um, pretty much what I ordered and so not much to say about that it's it's expected there was an issue with drill back off I got these drill back off warnings in design spark but the board appears to not even notice that the Gerbers looked fine to me so I said that's not a real error and in fact it looks like PCB way took my Gerbers and did not monkey with them I mean who would it slows down everything you know it's to my peril if I give them a set of bad Gerbers anyway looks good so I'll start putting components on I guess after they arrive oh the, sh the shipping time um, these came much faster than I thought I ordered it via HK post China post versus DHL thus saving eight dollars in shipping and um, the quoted shipping time was supposed to be 10 to 25 days so I was expecting it to be well more like 25 business days the actual time 
from uploading my Gerbers to these boards on my doorstep was 16 days, um, including the shipping time. The actual fab time was about two days, I think. And out of those 16 days, two days were just for them to accept the order. I guess maybe that's how they throttle their production by not accepting orders until they do a quote audit. But after my Gerber's past audit, then I was able to pay. If you count from payment to boards on my doorstep, that was exactly two weeks, which is which is great 